In this video, we show you how to fit the blades to the Master Clip Clipper models that have this traditional style clipper head. First, ensure the tension is released before placing the blades on the clipper head. Check the laminated springs either side of the blade carriage are intact and that the square nut is present and sitting level inside the black blade carriage. If the square nut is sitting at an angle, lift the blade carriage up and reposition the nut. Then replace the carriage over the nut whilst holding it into position. The nut needs to be flat within the blade carriage. The blade carriage has two points that the small part of the blade, called the cutter, sit onto. Then slide the larger part of the blade, the comb, into place with the writing facing up. It's important to leave a small gap of about 1-2mm to two millimeters from the bottom of the blade and the plate that the blade sits on. Then carefully tighten the blade screws but leave a little room for finer adjustments. Then check the position of the comb against the cutter. The comb needs to sit about 2 to 3 millimetres in front of the small cutter. You can see here the angle part is sitting proud of the teeth of the cutter. This allows the comb to feed the hair into the cutter effectively. See the small gap either side of the blade on the underside of the clipper head. When you're happy with the comb placement, tighten the blade screws further. To tension the clipper, Turn the tension knob clockwise until you feel the first bit of resistance. Then give an extra quarter of a turn and the clipper is ready. Before, after and during clipping, pop a few drops of oil along the teeth of the blade. Into the holes on the clipper head and along the sides of the blades. This is very important to keep the clipper well lubricated, cool and running smoothly. Here you can see what happens if the comb part of the blade is sitting too low on the handset. There's not a gap at the bottom of the blade and when we turn the clipper over you can see the comb is almost level with the teeth of the cutter. This means the comb is unable to lift the hair into the cutter properly and will leave a chewed look to the clip or not clip at all. To correct this, undo the blade screws a touch to allow for moving the comb and just lift it a millimetre or two to give a leading edge into the cutter from the top. Now you can see that with the comb fitted correctly, it's lifted by a couple of millimetres and is sitting in front of the cutter. Here is the same example with a fine one millimetre cut clipper blade. With the comb sitting flush to the back plate, it has led to the comb and cutter at the front almost running parallel. Again, by lifting the comb, this corrects the position of the blade so that it is now a few millimetres in front of the cutter. Why not consider upgrading your traditional Heinegger style clipper with the new modern A2 clipper head from Masterclip? The A2 head is so easy to use and requires no blade adjustments. It's easy to tension and is compatible with a wide range of premium clipper blades. Choose from super fine cut, fine cut, medium cut and coarse cut. There's also a livestock blade available for shearing and dagging of sheep, llamas and alpacas and for clipping dirty cattle.